Ooh. Friends, if you want to buy the SVSPB 16 Ultra subwoofer, it will be approximately this size in the box. You'll require a minimum of two and perhaps three individuals to move it from here to your apartment. Guys, this subwoofer is simply huge. Look at its dimensions, look at its volume. In any case, he won't fit into any business class. We will try to fit it into the super, but I think we won't succeed anyway. I call the loaders because I am alone. And even if I had two, I wouldn't risk breaking my back. It's been 15 minutes and there are still no loaders. We are waiting. Our hero is from North America, so we borrowed a cab from the Sea Lions. Made in USA, D2 Steel. And today we will be opening this subwoofer. As always, this will give us a minus hour for warming up and 2 Hz additionally to the base. Autopsy. Look at these three ports, how enormous he is. I can't even reach the end of the box with my hand. Just bomb. We open it in the hallway because it doesn't fit into the room. Welcome to the sound revolution, friends. What does this inscription on the box say? Notice, two handles on each side for convenience, although we managed without them in principle. For such aborigines like us, there is a sign open here, start here. We'll utilize it, I... Listen, what is the next step? It turned out that it is necessary to make cuts from the side. So friends, please do not repeat the same mistakes we made. This is how we do it. We ensure that it is nicely packed and ready for use. Take away. I, I don't know how to put it forward here. Really very difficult, he's just huge. How is it even possible for one person to figure it out? This is just madness. Practically pushed out as if it were some kind of baby's birth. Look at him, how big he is. This is almost like giving birth to an elephant in agony. <laughs> <laughs> a little elephant, also known as a submarine, emerged into the world and now it's pulling me somewhere else. Guys, what's happening here? The first thing that catches the eye is a remote control. It's very small. It has a battery and a small owner's manual. The weight is good because the speaker is gone. Look, there's also a cable and it's so powerful it's 220 volts, and you see it's phased. That's cool. In contrast to the Japanese, who consistently include a cord with two plugs in their designs. That's how it is. <sighs> Guys, this is King Arthur's shield. If something goes wrong, we can somehow, it seems to me, defend ourselves, protect ourselves, I don't know. Neighbors, I believe individuals for whom this item is intended, have already begun to feel anxious as the shield actually has a weight of approximately 3 kilograms, without any exaggeration. Quality varnish, clearly high grade. The subwoofer isn't worth such astronomical money in terms of its characteristics and volumes, dimensions and weight, but even a part of its appearance already evokes some respect. Observe these angles, they are not acute, which would be more convenient and preferable for engineers. They have a rounded shape, which implies that vibrations will be additionally dampened. That's cool! This already shows an engineering approach in creating this device. I don't even want to touch him, not because he's scary. He's so cool, I'm just afraid to mess him up. He is shiny. It is simply a state of perfect agreement. I found multiple uses for this device already. It can be used as a mirror, bedside table and flower stand. The key is meal, not confusing it with washer. An hour passed, we conquered the monster. Look at how he looks next to Bowen Wilkins DB1. This is the coolest subwoofer by Bowen Wilkins. There's a newer version of DB1D, but it's the same size. And now look at this monster. Big difference. Friends, in a few weeks we'll test it and provide an entirely honest assessment of its performance. Thanks.